Hello class, we are now in lesson 8 and we will discuss about the international trade. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about the service industry and now we are going to discuss about the international trade. So here are the expectation after you have listened to this lesson. After going through this lesson, you are expected to define international trade. Second one, understand the importance of international trade on the economy. What is the importance of the international trade on the economy? And then the third one, um, apply business principles, tools, and techniques in the export and import businesses. So there's a difference between um, export and import. So before we will jump into our discussion we will have a pretest first number one it refers to the ability of the economy to produce goods and services at a lower opportunity cost compared to trade partners so what is the have the ability of the economy to produce goods and services in a lower opportunity cost compared to trade partners letter a opportunity cost b comparative advantage c economies of scale and d international trade so the answer for number one is comparative advantage number two it is the exchange of exchange of goods and services between countries exchanging of goods and services a comparative advantage b economies of scales c international trade or letter d opportunity cost the answer for number two is international trade number three he popularized the law of comparative advantage. A. Adam Smith. B. Lionel Rubens. C. Thomas Malthus. Or letter D. David Ricardo. So the answer for number three is David Ricardo. Number four. The top gainer in the Philippine exports in June 2020. A. Metal components B. Mineral C. Chemical or letter D. Coconut oil So the top gainer in the Philippine export in June 2020 is Mineral Number 5. The top gainer in the Philippines export in June 2020 Again, for number 4, that is um, Exports but for number five, it is an imports. A. Cereals. B. Transport equipment. C. Food and live animals. Or letter D. Mineral fuels. So the top gainer in the Philippine imports in June 2020 is cereals. So those who uh, got the five points or perfect score, congratulations. So now let's proceed to our lesson or discussion. So we will talk about the international trade. So if you walk in a supermarket and find products from China, for example, this is products from China or United States, like mini Oreo or Thailand, like the Leisure Coffee, I think you are familiar with this product. I think it's uh, familiar with the online seller and we also have Malaysia's products and South Korea also this one this is a popular uh, product from Korea sell by the online sellers so you are experiencing the effects of international trade so these products is coming from the different countries so the international trade is the exchange of goods and services between countries. So in international trade, 
allows other countries to expand their business in a global arena. So the Korean uh, business owner, not just selling the, uh, the products itself to their own country, but selling products to other countries as well. So the international trade is the key to the rise of the global economy where supply and demand and so with the prices are affected by global events. And then the political change in Asia, for example, could increase the cost of labor, thereby increasing the manufacturing cost for an American sneaker company based in the Philippines would also increase the price charge at the local mall. So a decrease in the cost of labor, so on the other hand, would result in paying less for the new shoes. Then a product that is sold to the global market is called export. Again, the product that is sold to the global market is called export. Okay, need to remember this term. And a product that is bought from the global market is called import. Okay, from the word export, we sell our products to other countries. And in the import, we buy products from other countries. So imp export from inside to outside, import from outside to to inside. So the imports and exports are accounted for in the country's current account in the balance of payment. Okay, so that is very important. Now let's discuss about the comparative advantage. So the comparative advantage refers to the ability of the economy to produce goods and services at a lower opportunity cost compared to trade partners okay so need to remember that a comparative advantage gives a company the ability to sell goods and services to a lower price than its competitors and realize stronger sales margins so the law of comparative advantage is popularly attributed to an english political economist named David Ricardo. Again, David Ricardo. Um, he is an English political economist. That he wrote um, his book entitled On the Principles of the Political Economy and Taxation in 1817. So, although it is likely that Ricardo's mentor is James Mill, which originated the analysis. So global trade allows rich countries to use their resources um, with their labor, technology, or capital. It is more efficiently. Since countries are endowed with different assets and resources, some countries may produce the same goods more efficiently and therefore sell them cheaper than other countries. So if a country cannot efficiently produce a good, it can obtain it by trading with another country that can produce more. So this is known as a specialization in international trade. Uh, let's take a simple example. A country A, okay, this one, and a country B both produce cotton sweaters and wine okay they produce cotton sweaters and wine so the country a for example produce 10 sweaters and um, six wines a year while country b produce six sweaters and 10 bottles a year so both can produce a total of 16 units okay 10 plus 6 16 6 plus 10 
is 16. So both of them can produce a total of 16 units. A country A, however, takes 3 hours okay, to produce sweaters and 2 hours to produce the wine. Okay, the 6 bottles of wine. Again, 3 hours to produce 10 sweaters. And then 2 hours to produce 6 bottles of wine. And then the country B, on the other hand, takes 1 hour to produce um, sweaters and 3 hours to produce wine, okay? Bottles of wine. So a total of 4 hours for country B and then 5 hours for country A. So, but these two countries realized that they could um, reduce more of focusing on those products with which they have a comparative advantage. So, the country A, okay, this one, then begins to produce only wine. Okay, they will only produce only wine. And country B, only produce cotton sweaters, for example. So each country can now create a specialized output of 20 units per year and trade equal proportion of both products. So as such, each country now has access to 20 units of both products. Okay, so this is the um, significant about the comparative advantage. So now let's discuss about international trade in the Philippines. The country's total export sales in June 2020 mounted to US dollar 5.33 billion, but a decrease of 13.3% from the U.S. day, 6.15 billion total export generated in June 2019. So the annual drop in June 2020 was the fourth month that total export had consecutive negative growth. So in the previous month, the export value fell at an annual rate of 26.5%. 9% okay while in June 2019 it gained at a rate of 3.9% so there is a decrease happen and then of the top 10 major commodity groups in terms of export value it had annual decline which was led by metal components so this is a decrease um negative 30.5 percent on the metal components and in the coconut oil okay the second one um decreases to 29 or negative 29.7 percent and then the machinery and transport equipment to negative 26.3%. So the total imported goods in June 2020, which amounted to $6.63 billion, plunged at the annual rate of 24.5%. So in the previous month, the decline was faster at 40.6%. While in June 2019, imports decreases by 7.2% annually. So the decrement of imported goods in um, June 2020 was due to their decrease in 7 out of the 10 major imports commodities which were led by the transport equipment 
but has with negative 70.5% and also with the mineral fuels, lubricants and related materials with negative 56.9% and iron and steel that has negative 40.9% Okay, so this is the status or updated information as of June, as of 2019 to 2020. Okay, so this is the importance of knowing the international trade. So now let's proceed to valuing. We need to reflect on this. Life is full of giving and take, just like with the imports and export thing. Give thanks and take nothing for granted. Everything that you have received from someone, you need to be thankful of it. Even if it is um, expensive or not, we need to be thankful of it. And we should not take, uh, we should not take nothing for granted. Okay. So don't forget to answer the evaluation quiz and also the learning forum. Bye-bye. See you in the next lesson.